Hello again! Over the last few days I've managed to create this little setup of command blocks. Its purpose? Track my orientation, calculate a vector based on that and perform raycasts. And to show you how useful these informations can be, let me give you a few examples. The first example, also the easiest one to set up with just a few additional command blocks. With this I can draw nice little pictures. So let's try this one. Um, I don't. If I move too fast in here, sadly, I have little dots in between. I don't interpolate in between, so yeah, you have to live with that. But it's just a demonstration, right? So what else? Um, maybe let's make a sun on top there. Like that. Picture like you would draw in your childhood, maybe. And a few clouds there. Uh, let's draw a house. Okay, let's see if I can make this in one go. And, uh, okay, that it. It's very simple to make, but uh, you can see where kind of lacks the necessary functions. Oh, well, but yeah. Um, well, simple drawing and. It's gone. So on to example number two. All right, for the next demonstration, I thought about looting that village over there, but I don't want to get caught by those villagers by surprise. So I have to scout a bit and mark them for me, so it's easier to see them from distance. There's one. Nah. There's also one. There's one. And. Yeah, I think that's it. I wanna go in there and grab the loot I can find. That went well! I got caught and I have to repair the damage. But that's not a problem at all. I can just take some sand, place it in the broken window and then use my secret weapon. Oh yeah, that's right. Laser vision. Oh yeah. And you recharge in between but come on, laser beams? I can melt sand in place? That's awesome, right? Oh, and just to mention it, this is not limited to players. Oh no. Here we have a zombie with laser vision. And even if his aim is not as good, you can see the concept. Say hello to Captain Laser. But yeah, this is all nice and good, but... I still don't see the value of the machine. Well, let me show you something where I combine everything you saw so far. For this next and last demonstration, I put together all the techniques I showed you so far to recreate Portal in Minecraft. I guess the items kind of give it away. So let's just play this map. So what do we have there? It's a button. It looks like a piston, but trust me, it's a button to open this door. So I need to get over there. Let's create a portal and make one here. Get out and activate that button. So, uh, door is activated, but as soon as I step off, that door closes again. So we need to keep it activated. And for that, we have a companion down here. And we can pick him up. And uh, we need to get up there. By the way, that it's so laggy is not because of the recording. This is laggy in general. Um, I don't know how smooth this animation here can get on strong machines but it's at least stable so that's good so let's see orange is there so let's make a blue portal here get through and place that cube down here and uh, you know what let's switch things a bit maybe drop from height yeah Woo! And we are at Portal in Minecraft without an actual continuation. And a lot of Skype messages. Now, first of all, a big shout out to Tosha because he's the guy, uh, by the way, I have linked him in the description below. Uh, I hope I can link him in the picture here as well. Not sure if that works on YouTube. 
Uh, well, Tosha made a tool called Redstone Programming Language. It's uh, sort of a plugin or a filter for MC Edit, and it allows you to write Minecraft code, sort of Minecraft command block logic in form of a simple program and text file, and it compiles into command blocks. Um, you still need to know a lot of command blocks, but it makes handling them a lot easier. I'll put pastebin for this setup here, or for these two setups actually, in the link as in the description in form of links as well, so you can see the language as it plays out. Um, this world is of course a download. I will talk more about that in a minute. But for now, uh, again, big shout out to Tosha. Fantastic idea, fantastic tool, great thing. Uh, just one thing, why did you have to make that one video? I just uh, looked up your channel again to get your name right and I saw you also made something with Raycast, Line of Sight. Well, now I know this is uh, the internet and YouTube and your video is two weeks older so I can't prove anything but believe me I didn't want to steal your idea and I hope the, my different setup proves uh, somewhat. But again, thank you, Tosha, for creating that awesome, awesome tool, Redstone Programming Language. I can't get enough of that. I'm doing so much stuff with it now. And uh, I think I should stop babbling about that and continue with the tool here. So I said two th systems. Uh, well, yeah, we have one system down here for the detection of my rotation. That's the right part here. How does that work? Well, I just use one item stand. Um, one of them, I think this one here, maybe, to teleport to me and back. So let's see here. Teleport to me. That's a bit of command block magic in here. And back to this place. And because I teleported in this armor stand directly to me, to my position, it got my rotation copied to it. So when I teleported back to this position, it knows exactly what my rotation is. And then these two rows of command blocks continuously rotate that armor stand back to rotation zero and it counts how many rotations it takes to get back to zero. Well, it doesn't really count down, it uses um, binary search sort of here. But yeah, that way I can get the amount of rotations needed to get from zero to my rotation and therefore I know which direction I'm looking at right now. So um, maybe you get a quick demonstration here. Let's reset that quickly and do this and do that and maybe scroll it. Oh god. Um, I've set up some nice output here. Rotation. Um, yeah, it's hard to see. That thing has three digits accuracy, so it can track up to 0 0.001 degree returns. And those direction angles get used in the left setup here. Well, let's turn off the lag machine. So I can convert them into three dimensional vector. There. Also changing here. Um, this one actually has five digits of accuracy because the calculations I do with them for the ray cast and everything require a bit more precision. Oh god. The lag next to this is unbearable. Um, also on top here we have pretty long row which is only here to make teleports possible. So um, with this machine I can give some entities a scoreboard value and based on what scoreboard value they will get teleported. Also very precise up to I don't remember five? Also five? Yeah this machine was also up to five on three? Really? Oh, well. only three digits of accuracy so up to 0 0.001 blocks and uh, yeah that's needed for the or mostly needed for this part that's the raycast what I do in here is I have 20 armor stands that you can see they're invisible they are right here and once I want to perform a raycast I take my current orientation create a vector based on that and then along that vector I transport those 20 armor stands in a distance of 0 0.5 blocks in between. And they continuously wander down that line of sight 
until they hit a block or an entity. Entity detection is actually a bit tricky here for several reasons, so for the moment I have to aim at the feet, or at least at the lower part where their coordinates are located. It doesn't track the hitbox, so that makes a few things tricky, but blocks work pretty well. And yeah, um, a lot of dark command block magic in here. I'm, uh, I'm surprised it works that well. There are a lot of things you need to change around here to access different parts of the map here to play around with my demonstration, so I think I will just leave on the one that you're most interested in. Um, let me quickly activate it, so if it doesn't work for you, just place a redstone block there, make sure the clock is running, you should get some lag, you will notice that it works then. Um, let's turn this off, get to the portal area, we have another clock in here that needs to run and one clock here that needs to run and yes this is a comparator clock I like to go easier sometimes and on the chest behind you find the necessary items so we have one red portal one blue and one item to carry around so if you shoot red portals just make sure you wait a second until you switch blue portals and if you want to carry just hold the carry item and any companion cube in your reach will follow you around. So yeah, play with this if you want to. I guess this is the part that you're most interested in if you download the map. And uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. See you next time.